Okay, so who else has realized that Facebook's little lovely little change they did the other day um, is actually going to have real consequences for their business and the way that they currently run their communities? I was putting posts in Buffer, which is the software that I use to kind of make sure I'm adding value into my Facebook groups every day. I've got a couple, one's a free one, and then there's a bunch of ones that run with my courses. But I also have ADHD. This bitch is forgetful, right? So I use software like Buffer. So at two o'clock in the morning when I can't sleep and I'm really fucking inspired and I have a million things to say, I go on and I will like post stuff two or three months in advance because I can't obviously dump all of that content out of my brain, 80 posts into a Facebook group in the moment. So I went onto Buffer to schedule it. And I saw this lovely little notification that basically said, moving forward, uh, Facebook is not chill with that anymore. They've changed their mind. They're not vibing with it and I won't be allowed to do it. Like, bitch, what the fuck, right? So I go onto Facebook, I Google a couple of articles trying to figure out what's going on. And then I message my lovely friend, Catherine Crane from Crane Creative, who's all things social media and she knows her shit. She's up to date and all that stuff. And I pretty much messaged her and was like, bitch, what the fuck did you know about this? I'm so fucking mad. And we talked back and forth. And basically, in case you didn't know, because I didn't, so this is really the public service announcement because I didn't know and I'm like fucking salty. So in case you didn't know, basically it's stopping all API access into groups or something like that. I'm, I'm not fully up on this, but so if you're using something like Zoom to live stream into Facebook groups, are we doing one shot today or two? Mm, one, I'll, I'll have another one later, let's be honest. If you're using Zoom to live stream into Facebook groups and things like that, or you're using something like Buffer, which connects by API to a Facebook group, they're basically like, no, no more. No more on that. So no more live streaming from Zoom into Facebook groups so you can screen share and use whiteboards and stuff like that. No more scheduling software like Buffer. I don't know if Hootsuite. I've used Planoli in the past, later things like that with the work. Currently, I'm using Buffer. Love it. Amazing platform will now no longer connect to Facebook groups. Now, this is just group specific. And that leaves me going, okay, is this some weird thing? Because we as people can monetize Facebook groups, but Facebook can't monetize Facebook groups. Is that why they're not allowing us to do this? They're kind of like moving away from it. And it just seems so contradictory, doesn't it? I got to do my coffee. And to me, it just seems so very contradictory, this whole thing around like, we're here to build communities. This is about building a community and engage in a group and we love groups and this is how we want people to communicate. But then also like, we don't fucking care. It's like when banks say they give a shit about small business and it's like, well, you don't. That's just clearly marketing angle because you absolutely fucking don't. And it feels like the same thing is happening here. And yes, I'm using one of the baby spoons to stir my coffee. Don't judge me. I need to stack the dishwasher. And everyone's like, well, just use the Facebook schedule. Maybe that's what they're angling towards. They want you to use the Facebook. I'm like, I can only do that a few weeks in advance. So if you're someone like me who runs a 10 month mastermind, I want to have stuff scheduled. I currently run a 90 day challenge. I want to have my check-in scheduled every Sunday over the 90 days. I want to make sure certain things are definitely going to be posted 90 days in advance to make sure that my community has access to the information that they need is constantly like nurtured and engaged and part of things. And you just, your Facebook, you're making my life really fucking hard, okay? So my next question is, where else do we go? Where else do we go, right? Because we know like the Facebook thing feels so super saturated with groups and everyone's just posting the same Maria Went training that they did um, caption to try and get leverage in Facebook groups. So where else do we go? I know when I spoke to Catherine, she uses Kajabi. Kajabi has a, a Kajabi. Kajabi has a community platform. Personally, my entire business and all my backend software is run through Kartra. Kartra doesn't have a community platform. So at the moment, my interim in between that, because it's like, well, if I can't schedule things on Facebook, what's the benefit of me using Facebook? If I can't live stream Zooms, which I'm going to run my courses through into Facebook, what's the point of me being there? That's less time on the Facebook app. That's fucking great for me. So I'm going to move things over and add on Telegram as the community part of the courses and workshops that I run because that's gonna work easier for me because I can just go in, post what I need to post or I can schedule and send a document to my team like, hey, these things need to go up on these days, reminders for this event, one hour in advance and half an hour in advance. 
and I can kind of structure things and forward that to someone in my team without having to worry about insane logins, graphics and all that type of stuff. So we're going to move over temporarily to Telegram in as the community aspect for everything else that I'm doing. But I'm curious to hear your thoughts, number one, on this, whether you like, because I just, it doesn't make sense to me. It does not make sense to me. As someone who's been an entrepreneur for the last 10 years, as someone who is in business and consults for big brands and also does design work for them, this just doesn't logically make sense from a business perspective. For me, the only thing I can kind of think of it would be that monetizing aspect. Secondly, what community platforms are we using and moving over to? Because why the fuck are we all still on Facebook, right? Anyway, that's my, that's my morning rant.